we are programmed with a very deep belief system. How you behave is how I will respond. I am programmed to a belief system that if someone walks up in the middle of the program, I get disturbed. So he stood up, obviously I'll get irritated. Right or wrong? No? Why? How can they get up in the middle of a program? How can they do that? How can they do that? They disrespected me. They don't love me. They don't care for me. They don't value me. They just got up and walked out. Were they right? Were they right? No. <laughs> Were they right? Am I right that I'm feeling bad? <laughs> it's so easy to give people advice, na? No. Ah, good. Same way when your spouse doesn't behave the way you want them to be, don't get upset. <laughs> Same way. Why do you say no to me? Because right there you say, it's okay someone walks out. They have something to attend to. Probably they have a reason why they walked out. Probably they don't feel like sitting. It's okay. Why are you getting upset? You know? Because we are all jnani souls. <laughs> we understand this, that the other person is going to behave out of their sanskar. And our role is to understand them. And to understand that they have a reason for being the way they are. They have a reason for doing what they are doing. Why should I get upset if somebody is walking out? Same way. Same way. It could be something as simple as walking out. It could be something bigger like walking out of my life. People will not always be my way. People will not always be my way. I can choose whether I want to live the life of a victim who goes on saying, they don't love me, they don't respect me, they don't care for me, no one loves me, no one respects me. They will still walk out. Whether it's walk out of a hall or whether it's walk out of my life. I don't know what's going to be the next scene in my life. I don't know. And neither can I control people. Power doesn't mean being able to control people. Power means being able to choose the right response when situations are not my way. And if I choose that right response, when somebody walks out of the hall, 100% I'll be able to choose the same response when something bigger than that happens in my life. Why? Because I created the sanskar in the simpler, smaller situations of life. Big situations in life, once in a while. Small, insignificant situations in life, many times during the day. How does a sanskar get created? How does a sanskar get created? by how I respond repeatedly. Many of us are very, very strong when there is a challenge in our life. Anna? When there's a challenge in our life, when there's a crisis in our life, we are very strong. But if someone didn't offer me a glass of water, I get hurt. See? This is how it is. Why? Because I know that when something big happens, I have to face the situation. I have to cross this crisis. But when someone doesn't offer me a glass of water, I get hurt because I expected them to be my way and I give up my power at that time. How I respond to the simpler scenes of life is what is going to create a sanskar. When you give me this advice that I should not feel bad when somebody walks out, you're just telling me that how I feel here is nothing to do with how they are behaving, right? Right? 
And is this an equation which is applicable every time in life? Yes? Yes? Situations? Bring out your right hand and place the situation of your life there. Anything. As small as the scissor, as small as somebody walking out of the hole, or something much, much bigger than that. Just place your situation there. And now bring out your other hand and place your state of mind there in response to that situation. One hand has the situation, the other hand has my response, the state of my mind, my thoughts, my feelings, my words, my behavior. Are these two hands connected? Is my response dependent on the situation? Yes? Is my response dependent on my situation? Sure. Can I choose the response which is right for me even if the situation is not right for me? Yes? And when I start doing that, which response do you think you will choose? You will choose that what you want and we want peace, love, happiness, health, harmony. But if I lived my life believing that what I'm feeling is because of the situation, then I don't choose my response. I just start saying, obviously they walked out, obviously I'll get hurt. Don't we use the word obvious? Don't we use the word natural? Don't we use the word normal? It's normal to feel bad when somebody walks out of the hall. And yet all of you said, no. Why? Because right now you're detached from that situation. That situation is not a part of your life. And when I'm detached from the situation, I can see the right response. But when that situation is my situation, I don't look at that situation from a detached perspective. I'm so attached to that situation and I believe that it is the situation which creates my thought. And I said, if somebody walks out, I feel bad, it's normal. And sometimes my family and friends also endorse my hurt. Yeah, they just sit around with me, hold my hand and say, Obviously, you'll feel bad somebody walked out. That's it. I need only that endorsement at that time. And if even one person endorses my pain, I don't then find the need to change. Because they told me that how I'm responding is absolutely right. And then I walk into this hall and I have all this lovely family and I look at them and say, I'm hurt, they walked out and all of you love me so much, so you guide me the right way and you say, no, that's all that we need. And when you say this to me, no, you don't need to get hurt, it will set me thinking, really? Do I even have a choice not to get hurt? And you all collectively said, yes. And that's what spirituality does. That's what meditation does. Meditation means I become my best friend. And so when somebody walks out, I just pause for 30 seconds and I say to myself, I'm feeling bad, they walked out. And then my friend who lives here, connected to the one there and takes advice from there and then says to me, no, your feeling has nothing to do with them walking out. And it takes me 30 seconds to shift from hurt, disrespect, insult, shift to understanding they had a reason to be that way. Compassion, they needed to walk out, shift. 30 seconds, but that will only happen if I have created a beautiful relationship with with myself and with him. We don't need anyone else. We don't need anyone else to whom I need to go out and say, you know what, they walked out of the hall. Shouldn't I feel bad? No, I don't need anyone else to go and ask. 
Why? Because each one of us already knows the right answer. There was not a single voice in the hall which said, yes, you should feel bad. Not a single voice. Why? Why not a single voice which said, yes, you should get hurt? Because each soul is a knowledgeful soul and each soul knows what is right. All that we have to do is use our knowledge, which we know what is right, just use it in our scene every day. But I will be able to do that only when I disconnect these two hands and I say, how I respond has nothing to do with my situation in life. And I stop using the words, obviously I'll create hurt, obviously I'll get irritated. I don't even say, obviously I'll get irritated. I say, they are irritating. Don't we say they are irritating? Imagine if I say, she's so irritating. Do you have any irritating people in your life? Do you have any irritating people in your life? Yes? So now when I say, she's so irritating, what have I just told my mind? She equals to irritation. Yes. And which means, every time I'm with her, getting irritated is normal. Gana bach kya? Because I said, she is irritating. And then I sit back with myself and I say, it's not about her. It's just that when she behaves that way, I create irritation. First step. Second step. Is it possible that tomorrow I don't create irritation and I choose another way? Second thought. Third, my mind says, yes, you can. Fourth, I ask myself, why should I but? Why should I not get irritated when she doesn't behave the right way? What's your advice to me? Why should I not get irritated? Why should I not get irritated? Because I want peace. And that peace which I want is not going to come from... It's going to come when I use that sanskar of peace in every situation of my life. So is she irritating? Be very careful when you put labels on people. Because putting a label means I have given up the option of using another response. Let's remove a few labels that we have been putting on us. Irritating. How many irritating people in my life? How many irritating people in my life? No one. Chalo. <laughs> this how simple, no? Spirituality is so simple. And imagine people say, spirituality is so difficult. Meditation is so difficult. Remove that label, difficult. Because when I put a label, it's so difficult, I don't even experiment. I don't even experiment because I've put a label, it's so difficult. It's so it's so, it's so, just saying the word makes me feel nice. Every thought is an energy, every word is an energy. Just the other day at a program, I have an angel with me here. We used the word busy. How many of you here in Vancouver use the word busy? Acha, busy? Busy or very busy? Very busy. Achha, achha, achha. Anybody very, very busy? <laughs> it's just a word. Choose how low you want to go in your vibration. Busy. Very busy. Very, very busy. Marne ki bhi fursat nahi. Choice. <laughs> Eric Pai, marne ki bhi fursat means I don't even have time to die. And that's a very common line today. You tell them, brother, come to meditate. Sister, marne ke bhi fursat nahi hai. I don't even have time to die. Belief system, programming, 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 programming. Busy. Every time we use the word, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. Wo chote chote bachche bolte, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. 
every time I use a low frequency word, I am depleting spiritual power. I am depleting spiritual power because I am choosing a lower energy option. It's not about how much we are working. Some people could be doing nothing at home and say, Boy, I'm very busy, I'm very busy. <laughs> and someone could be working 16 hours a day and be very easy. Because busy and easy is only a vibration. It's not about how much we are working. Even if you're working 16 hours a day, just change the word from today. My little angel who I have, she's been with me for the last one week. And she started doing that for the last three days. And she's been working a lot. And now she's just started using a little different vocabulary. And I just told her, I said, sister, what's the schedule for tomorrow when we go to Vancouver? She said, Shivani, when I've been so free, so easy that I just did not see the schedule only. But what she was doing, which was such an inspiration for me, she's just not used that word since the last four days. She just deleted it. And it just is an inspiration. It's so easy to change. It's so easy to change. And just changing the vocabulary is making a difference in how I feel. And yet if I keep using the wrong words, it is manifesting into my destiny of having a turbulent energy, always hurried, not just here, body language changes, physical health get affected, people, relationships move away. I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. I don't have time for anybody. I don't have time for myself. I'm very, I'm very, I'm very easy. Choice. Every time it's a choice. The thought I create, the word I use is going to decide whether this spiritual battery is going to get depleted or whether it's going to get charged. If I'm busy, hurried, turbulent energy, Chances of me getting irritated? Chances of me getting irritated? Higher. So every negative word is connected to the next negative word. And if I'm busy and hurried and then I get irritated and then somebody doesn't talk nicely to me, getting hurt is? Getting hurt is normal. It's a family which lives together. Lower vibrations is a family which lives together. And higher vibrations is a family which lives together. So if you're easy, relaxed, and then something doesn't go your way, responding with peace becomes, becomes easy. And then when you respond with peace, and the next scene, someone just walks out after looking at you, understanding them becomes easier. And in the next scene, Someone you trusted completely betrays you. Betrays you. Something which you had never thought can ever happen to you in your relationship. Radiating blessings to them and good wishes becomes very, very simple because I've accumulated that energy on the journey of my life. And when I do that, I'm using my power to vibrate at the highest frequency even when I'm in the lowest situation of my life. And if I don't use my power, I can vibrate at the lowest frequency even in the best scene of my life. Ho sakta ke ho sakta? For many people today, life could be perfect. I met someone yesterday and he said, I have everything. I said, yeah, good. He said, no, no, I really have everything. I said, okay. He said, everything is perfect in my life. Wealth, business, family, children. I have everything. I said, you're very fortunate. It's good karma that everything is perfect, health is perfect, family is perfect, wealth is perfect, 
everything is perfect. He said, but I'm not happy. No. And he was very concerned. And he said, how is it possible that I have everything perfect but I'm not happy? Is it possible? Is it possible? And he wanted the answer. Because I have everything and I believed if everything was perfect then I will be happy. Everything is perfect but I'm not happy. Why? Because being happy is not dependent on be everything being perfect. Being happy depends on how I've been responding to every scene of my life. This glass is full. I'm going to keep it here. And I'm going to walk around this whole hall. Can I do it? Can I do it? Yes. And I'm going to stop and talk to each one of you. Can I do it? And can I come back to this stage in half an hour with the glass still full? Yes or no? Sure. 20 steps, 2,000 people, walking half an hour, so much to do. Can I come back with the glass full after half an hour? Anji? If I? If I? How, what would I have to do to come back with the glass full? Because if I don't take care, the glass will be empty on the first step. That's one way of living. That it could just spill off on the first step. And if I take care, after an hour I can come back with the glass full. So what's that one little care that I have to take while I'm doing everything that I'm doing? And yet this glass should be full. What do I have to do for that? Priority. Priority in life. This glass full is here. I am a peaceful being. I am a happy being. I am a loveful being. I am a divine being. I am a powerful being. Glass full. This glass is full. All that I have to do is walk around throughout the day. Do everything that I'm doing, meet everybody, work every, with everybody, do everything, but take care. Ho sakta? Can I do it? Yes. Important is, I have to put this as my first priority in life. Which means now I'm going to start walking like this. And I'm going to do everything that I'm doing, but my attention is going to be here. And if, if something comes on the way, the first thing that I'm going to take care of is, that's all. 